<laughs> this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the Aaron's quad. A number of people have emailed me asking to see another view of it. And got it hooked up to a battery that's 12.50 volts. And it's sitting in two gallons of water with lye in distilled water. Turn it on for you. I think it pretty well speaks for itself here. 8 amps, 11 volts. I've got to turn it off too much. The quad cell is a duplicate as far as I can do it. Actually, I think I've done it of the Widowmaker. It's three by six and four plates. Anybody who's got the Aaron cell will be able to reproduce this once I get it finished. I'll be putting an eight plate system together and then hopefully a 16 plate system. The configuration is not a V as everyone keeps describing it. Even I was describing it as that. It presents itself as a V when you look at it at a certain angle. But in fact, it's a little more complex than that. I call it the quad because there's actually four sections in which have to be made correctly in order for it to work. I think in looking at this cell and this construction, hopefully we'll be able to build this larger. The interesting feature on the Widowmaker and this is the type of bubbles that it puts out. And it seems to be only from this system, although I'm sure there are others out there that do it. This particular cell is putting out a very fine bubble. I'll turn it on again for you here. get a good view. I mean that is an incredible amount of hydrogen. Turned it off here. What I'm going to do is give you a better view. Let's let it dissipate. I think this is going to be the cell or the configuration that it's going to take to run whatever mechanisms we decide to use with it. I'm thinking very seriously about getting a small motorbike to put this cell on. Since it is putting so much out, I think maybe a full system with this on it should do the trick. I'll show you this here now. Turn it on. And off. I'm not, u <coughs> oh, well, excuse me. I'm not using any uh, pulsing system on this whatsoever. This cell does not need to be pulsed. The 
again we're only we're using 12.40 volts for one because uh, I've charged the battery up when in fact a car battery goes up as high as 14 I'll move this over so you can get another view of it this time from the back I'll turn it on here for you I mean that's quite a <laughs> that is quite a cell. I've disabled all the comments on the videos because of all the problems I'm getting with the trash comments. Uh, from now on anyone who wants to comment to me Send it to John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. I'd be glad to answer all, actually, yeah, answer all email anyway. But send it to John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. Be glad to hear from you. I just cannot do any more or deal any more with the comment files. I never realized there were so many jerks out there, to be honest with you. I think we're a closed community, and I prefer it that way anyway. If you don't like the work I'm doing, why bother? I could never understand that. Perhaps that's too logical for some people. They must put their two cents in. I've gotten all kinds of, met all kinds of good people here. You can also check my site, hydrogentap.com, for any new things I put up there. I will be putting the Aaron cell, Aaron's quad cell up. For any of you who have, are waiting for some of the cells they sent away for, please bear with me. They're coming as quickly as I can make them. Had a, a number of requests for the cells now. Also I've done a lot of updating and I've held a lot of the cells back so I could give you the latest versions. Again this plate is the Aaron cell. It's three by six inches. And the modifications are made between the plates. Anyone with an Aaron cell will be able to use this modification. Again, if you have comments or questions, email me at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com. That's John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com. This is the Aaron's quad cell, which is duplicating the Widowmaker. Be glad to hear from you. Team Schultz. Try turning this around. It's putting out too much hydrogen here. <laughs> 